Hey guys, welcome to the weekend. Uh, we are doing a hero wad today named Rankle. Uh, please be sure to read about him in Zen Planner as well as in the notes in the description below. For the warm up, it's going to be 40 seconds on, 20 seconds transition. One round, we're going to go jump rope, hollow snaps, arch snaps, deadlifts, burpees, rows, swings, and then practice our transition from burpee to pull up or row. For the workout, it's a 20 minute AMRAP. You're going to start with six deadlifts if you have access to a barbell. 225 for the guys is the RX, 153 is the ladies RX. Or if you have two dumbbells, you'll do a double dumbbell deadlift. Or if you have a kettlebell, kettlebell deadlift or a backpack deadlift. Six of those. After that, we're going to go seven burpee pull-ups or a burpee to a bent over row. After seven of those, you've got ten American swings. And then lastly, we've got a 200 meter run today. 200 meter run should take about 45 seconds to a minute. I'm just gonna have you substitute a minute jump rope if you don't have access to get outside and run. Obviously, if you have a rower or a bike, go ahead and substitute 200 meters on the rower, 0.4K on the bike, all right? So for our warm up on the jump rope, you're just gonna jump rope. Remember, you're gonna keep those elbows in, palms face out. You're gonna be bouncing on the balls of your feet as you're jumping shadow jump rope uh, if you don't have a regular jump rope or if you have some other piece of cardio equipment use that for the 45 seconds or 40 seconds after that we're going to go hollow snaps so for this guys you're going to get set up on the ground feet together toes are pointed arms straight just outside the shoulders i'm going to snap up into my hollow hold for two reset the ground snap hold for two so arms are straight and covering uh, those ears. For my arch snaps, I'm going to roll over, hands are still going to be outside the shoulders, feet together, toes pointed. I'm going to snap up, hold for two, and back down. Remember, keep the head neutral, so you don't want to look up, just look down to the ground, hold for two seconds. After that, we're going to go to our deadlifts. If you have a barbell, warm up with a lighter weight of the barbell. If you have uh, dumbbells. Only one head of each dumbbell needs to touch the ground. Okay, so I'm going to send my butt back. Back is flat. I'm going to tap the ground. One head of each dumbbell and then stand all the way up. If I only have one dumbbell or a kettlebell, I'll hold it two-handed, come down, tap, stand. From the side, butt back, shins are vertical, back is flat stand all the way up at the top. You can also do this with your backpack. Our next one's gonna be burpees. For the burpees, I want chest and thighs touching, jump and a clap at the top. If you need to scale, you can step back, stay in this plank position, step forward, still give me a jump and a clap though. After that, we're gonna go to our bent over row. So if you've got your two dumbbells, you're going to deadlift them up, hinge at the waist, and then row to the chest. And then stand all the way up, deadlift them back down. If you have a kettlebell, you're going to deadlift the weight up, and then row to the chest. Or you can have the hands outside of the bell and row to the chest. We can also do this with our backpack. Next one's going to be our swings. So for the American swing, we're going to go overhead. Okay, so we need the arms locked out overhead. Bell's going to start just a few inches in front of the feet. I'm going to push my hips back, aim for the wrist to be in that upper groin area, squeeze my butt, and lock out over top. If you need to modify, you can go to forehead height or shoulder height and then a half swing back down to the ground. If you only have a dumbbell, one dumbbell, just interlock the fingers like so, and squeeze at the top. If you have two dumbbells, you can do a skier swing outside of the hips and then all the way up to the top, or just come to shoulder height if you need to. Our last one is gonna be our practice of our transition with our burpee pull-up. So we're gonna go over to the rig, For the RX, I'm going to burpee and then go right into my pull-up. So that would be 
one, I burpee, pull up, two, etc. You can also do this as a strict pull up, you don't have to, but if you wanted to, you burpee, and repeat. What, for the RX, what we need is for those arms to start straight and then go into your swing, or if you're doing a strict, pull and get the chin over the bar. If you're modifying, let's say, with a box for a jumping pull-up, you're going to burpee behind the box, and then I want you to just stand up to the box, arms straight to start, jump with that chin over, and repeat. If you're using a band, I don't want you to have to get in and out of the band each time, so you're going to do all your burpees, and then you're going to do your band pull-up. So I'll burpee. Once I finish that, remember the leg that's closest to the band will go in the band, and then I'll get set up for my pull-up. Okay, so that's what I want you to practice during that 40 seconds. So, for the lot again, you've got six deadlifts. Remember, if you're using your dumbbells, one head has to touch on the outside of the legs. You can use your kettlebell, a backpack. If you have a heavy sandbag, feel free to use that. Seven burpee pull-ups or a burpee bent over row. With a burpee bent over row, you're going to burpee, grab your weights, row. And you'll do that for seven reps. After that, we've got our American kettlebell swings. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can use dumbbells backpack, and then lastly, 200 meter run, or a minute of jump rope. If you don't have a rope, guys, you can do penguin claps. For the penguin claps, I want you to focus on clapping the hips two times while you're in air. Okay, so you're gonna keep the hands by the sides. As you jump high, clap the hips two times. Every time you finish one round of this, that's one, Try to get through as many rounds as possible. If you get through, say, 10 rounds, plus six deadlifts, you're gonna put in the comments below 10 plus six, and then indicate any modifications that you made uh, for the workout. Please keep track in Zen Planner as well in the comments below. Guys, I hope you have fun. Enjoy this workout. Uh, think about our hero for today. As always, if you have questions, please let me know. Thanks.